Welcome back, Kisto Wachi Wurnik Live. Now, International Jazz Day Lecture, the 40 years milestone celebration jazz picnic in the park. As some of the events lined up for this year's International Jazz Day celebrations, kicking off on Wednesday, the 27th of April. It will also feature another refreshing three day program that combines a series of workshops, presentations, and performances. The theme for this year, the roots and uh, routines of South African jazz, which form part of last year's proceedings, continues in its holistic mission and vision, which seeks to explore the roots and heritage of South African jazz as a way to map out its future scope and its latest, uh, well, well, its latent opportunities. All right. Now, to tell us more, we're joined by Brenda Sisani. She's the founder and director of International Jazz Day South Africa. With her is Bitu Miller uh, Twile, who is the team member of International Day of Jazz. Ladies, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good Thank morning. you. Thank Brenda, you. let's paint the picture for people who may not know. International Jazz Day South Africa. What is this day about? Uh, what are we trying to celebrate here? It's a global day declared by, uh, by UNESCO uh, in, a, in association with the Thelonious Monk Institute, which, is, which trains jazz musicians, and it's an educational center. Um, it was because they, they felt that jazz needs to take its, its global position again as a, a music that unites, you know, that's democratic, that re respects people's rights and origins and all of that. So they, five years ago, they resuscitated this movement and, and declared the 30th of April as International Jazz Day. Yeah. So I, I think from our point of view, we felt that South Africa is a jazz destination. It, it has a, very, a thriving jazz sector and at a time when we are actually looking at our own sector, Sector, you know, mm -hmm. that we, let's join the international dialogue, let's join this conversation and also put our, our, our own jazz heritage, including its future, you know, to, 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 to test in, mm -hmm. in, in a way. You know? All right, so what's on the line of this year with Dumelo? Uh, what can we look forward to? I remember Pesima Bandu was in last year's yeah. uh, yes. lineup. This year, what, what, what's on the lineup? Well, I mean, I think, um, as you mentioned, there are going to be workshops, um, conferences. A lecture, uh, Dr. Silo Khalani will be having a lecture at uh, Pretoria uh, at the Freedom Park, and we can have a musician, yep. Yonela Mnana. Um, I'm very excited about that. He's a great pianist, um, and he's going to be doing his own interpretations. We have uh, someone like uh, Dr. Uh, Carlo Mombelli, who's a bassist player, and he's really, really beautiful. And DVD launches, but I think mo mostly, I think. Um, it's the activations and the interactions that will help happen between the performances, uh, the workshops and the conferences and, and yeah. I believe Mukhali City has come on board this year. Yeah. Tell us a little bit it's, about it's that. It's very interesting, Mukhali City, because one, the, 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 the event planner just said Mukhali needs to revive its jazz clubs, the social movements, and they decided they want to do a picnic. And in this mm. picnic, they also want to show how them as a community, how they celebrate jazz. Mm. So the Ronaldi Jazz Stock Fells, and then they have DJs. Because, you know, we, the people that collect this music, they have a way of playing it. Mm. And, you know, so they want to showcase that side, but also to include some young bands okay. that come from there to the, so wait, the, the DJs are going to play jazz music. Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. Yes. There's this. There's different genres of that. There's lounge. There's all sorts of sounds mm -hmm. that, that are associated with jazz. I, I think you know. In essence, anybody can host an international jazz day event on the 30th of April. Mm -hmm. You know, but. What we're trying to do is, is to put an agenda together. I mean, last year when we started, we talked about what needs to be done to revive the sector. We talked about the fact that we had huge archives all over the world and in this country that we need to revisit. Jazz is about revisiting, right? Reinterpretation. So people go into an old song and bring it out and talk about its history, why it became. Hence, mm -hmm. Pesima Bandi would dwell on a subject like a song like Yakalingo. Yeah. Do you know, to say, what does it mean today? for the musicians of today and mm -hmm. so on. So there's those kind of activations that we want to see happen that will only throw forward to, to South Africa the growing. But more than anything else, we think we'd make a great destination for the next global concert. Yeah. Because 200 ambassadors every year they meet jazz musicians to perform the biggest jazz concert in the world. Mm -hmm. We want to do that. Yeah. So, yeah. How, how soon can we have that? Listen, it's a few years, this competition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, last year it was Paris that hosted it. The year before it was Japan. Um, it was launched in New York and this year the president on his way out decided to bring it back mm -hmm. to the White House. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's a big occasion uh, streamed to over 2 billion viewers, mm -hmm. that concert. 
And All right. Yeah. So let's, um, before we let you guys go, the the, the different venues. Uh, I know there's the all, but what are the other uh, venues? There's the Market Theatre. I mm -hmm. uh, spoke about Freedom Park and there's Ward uh, 66. Yes. Mokhale City. And then there's uh, the Soweto Lifestyle Centre where there'll be, um, I think Percy Mabandu will be talking about his book and he'll be doing an exhibition as well there and there'll be some performances and of course I think people will just enjoy the music. All right, ladies, yeah. there's never enough time to talk about jazz. Yeah, yeah, thank awesome. you so much. Thank you. Uh, Brenda Suzanne is the founder and director of International Jazz Day South Africa. With her is a member of her team, uh, International uh, Jazz Day, which kicks off international with a lecture. That's uh, on the 27th, I think. Mm. Uh, Dr. Silo uh speaking to us about that. All right, we have to take a quick